Welcome to Electron Online. Now for us to be able to work with the probability matrices in Markov chains, those probability matrices have to have two properties. For one, they must be stochastic. Secondly, they must be regular. So what does that mean? What is a stochastic matrix and what is a regular matrix when it deals with Markov chains? Well, here we have some examples. And remember, there were two different methods of how to calculate the Markov chains. We've been kind of sticking to one method, but I want to make sure that you realize that I'm not ignoring the other method. I'll show you some more examples using the other method of using the Markov chain calculation method. But the method that we've been using, where we have from A at the top to, I should say, from to, from at the top, to to the right side right here. In this case, we know that the next state is equal to the probability matrix times the initial state. Here we have the case where the next state, x sub 1, is equal to the initial state, x sub 1, times the probability, oh, I should say the initial state, x sub 0 times the probability, realizing that here, x sub 0, the initial state, is written like this, a to b, in a vertical direction. Here we can say that x sub naught is equal to uh, a and b like this, in a horizontal methodology like that. So again, notice there's two different ways in which we can calculate uh, Markov chains. And I'll show you some examples with the other method as well. But nevertheless, if we're going to use this method right here, we will put the from at the top and the two at the bottom. So from A to A is 0.25. From A, uh, from A to B is 0.75, for example, that means 25% of the items stay with A, 75% of the items go to B, and so forth. Then you can see the matrix, the probability matrix, is stochastic if all the numbers, all the elements in a vertical direction add up to 1. So 0.25 plus 0.75 add up to 1, 0.5 plus 0.5 add up to 1. So if we go in a vertical direction and the element values add up to 1, then the matrix is stochastic. And that is important. You cannot do Markov chains if the matrices are not stochastic. Here, if you do it like this, we have from on the left and 2 on the right. So we go from A to A is 0.25. From A to B is 0.75. If we do it like this, then the elements need to add up to 1 when we go from left to right. So notice 0.25 plus 0.75 is 1. 0.5 plus 0.5 is 1. So therefore, this is a matrix is stochastic, and we can use that matrix in solving what we call Markov chains type of problems. Here are some examples where they're not stochastic. So if we go from 2, and again, we want to make sure that we understand what method we're using here. So from 2, when we add them up like this, this is not equal to 1, this is not equal to 1, this is not a stochastic matrix, this cannot be used in Markov chains method 1. And here, when we go from on the left to at the top, you can see when we go from left to right here, those rows do not add up to 1, so therefore this is not a stochastic matrix, and that matrix could not be used in a Markov chain problem. So make sure that you always check that the numbers vertically add up to 1 if you use this method, and the numbers are horizontally adding up to 1 if you use this method, or the matrix is not valid, and your Markov chain cannot work out. You cannot get the right value, not get the right results that way. So remember, stochastic is one of the conditions the next condition we'll handle on the next video where we talk about the matrix need to be a regular matrix and we'll show you what that means on the next video.